In my previous video, I covered how a version mismatch on a switch preventing it from joining the stack. In this video, I am going to upgrade the iOS and rejoin the stack. And I have a stack 1, 2. The switch 1 didn't join the stack because of a version mismatch. So version and you can see what are the operating system I have here that caused this version mismatch. So if you see here, this is 12.255 SE9. This is 12.246 SE. So this is not going to match. And if you see here, I have here all the ports listed here, 52. And here, even though it's show me switch one, there are no ports listed. That means there's no running configuration about this switch. You, you can go and take a look at here. Show int status. There is no switch one, only switch two. So right now, if you put the console cable on switch one, you are not able to connect to this version mismatched switch stack. So only way I can do this, I need to remove this switch from the stack and upgrade the iOS because right now it is not listed as slot one so i cannot upgrade that image from this uh, stacking configuration let me separate that switch uh, from the stack and i will uh, come back okay i am uh, booting the switch right now that's a standalone switch now so always the best practice is make sure you verify the version first before you upgrade the image I already have downloaded uh, my uh, image into my computer. Now I have to delete this image. So before you deleting this image, make sure you have connection to the TFTP server that you are running now and you can upgrade the iOS at the same time. So I have, so this is my TFTP server right now. I'm going to upload the image into my TFTP server, Cisco iOS. So I need, this is the version I need. Copy. I have to go to this uh, TFTP server and then I have to point that to the, the right folder that's uh, my current directory and then let's test the connectivity then is my ip so i can ping so i can ping the computer oh no that's the switch ip so i need to ping the computer from the switch okay i can ping the computer from the switch let's let's do the other way around too that is the uh, switch IP management IP okay I can ping that so I have both way communication now okay now I can go ahead and delete the, the flash I can delete the image so I need to delete the image from the flash I have 11 megabytes is the new image but I only have free space 4.8 uh, megabytes so I cannot have both image at the same time. So I need to delete this image first to upload the other image. Okay. Okay, it is deleting. All right, so it deleted already. So now look at the flash. Show, show flash. Okay, that image is gone. This is a scary moment because if you are not successful updating the image, you have to go to RAM, RAM mon mode uh, to upgrade the image. So that's much difficult process. So let's copy the image now. Okay, copy the address or name of the remote host. That is source file name. Let's grab that file name here.
open destination file also the same okay now it is transferring the file it's going to put uh, this kind of character that means it is uh, going smooth and you can see look at here and you see here it is showing the file transfer is going on here all right 100% completed right let's go and take a look at it's complete here show show flash voila look at my image beautiful image all right let's let's reboot this right mem i don't know i have to write the memory because it's a you know it's coming to the the non-volatile memory so you don't have to do a write them anyway i try to do that okay now i the restarted the switch so version now the switch has uh, the newest version so let's put both switch together and uh, make the stack okay so what i did uh, here is so this was the switch i upgraded the os to match this one now i have put the stacking cable in the back so what i did is um before i put the power i turn on the power i put the stacking cable first so when you join a switch into a stack make sure uh, the switch is turned off while you connecting the stacking cable so after you put the stacking cable uh, you can turn on the switch all right let's uh, go and look at the output there okay so i started both switch let's uh, see what's happening here that's a good sign it's responding show switch beautiful look at this master and member uh, all right so hope uh, this helps uh, with your you know day-to-day -day activity as a network administrator so please do subscribe and like and also don't forget to comment and let me know what topic you want me to cover uh, so i will uh, look for your comments guys all right thanks bye